The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, anyone who has an inkling or just a tint or a gentle or jot of arrogance in him, they won't even be able to smell paradise. They won't even be able to smell paradise, although its smell can be smelled 700 years away. Won't even smell it. Right? How many years? 700. Won't smell it. Allah said in the Quran, do you not see him who has made his own nafs his God? Do you not see him or her who has made their own nafs their God? So therefore now they, what? They follow their own nafs. Nafs is what? Carnal desires. So this is arrogance. So when we say Allahu Akbar, right? We say it all the time, Allahu Akbar. We're saying, man, Allah is the greatest. Allah is the one uh, worthy of being arrogant. Allah is above all things. Allah got it like that. Man, I ain't got nothing. I ain't even got it like that, man. I got to humble myself. Whatever Allah said, okay, that's what he said. Okay, alhamdulillah, submit now, what time now? Even though I can't comprehend it, even though I don't understand it, I have to submit to Allah for Allah. He created me. He created us. He got all of our hearts beaten without us even thinking about it. He gives us eyesight. He can give it to us. Take it away. One day. Shoom, can't even see. Right? Wake up one day. You was the fastest in school. Wake up one day, man. You can't even walk. Huh? Your arm don't even work right. Man, damn. Man, I used to, I mean, I used to be able. Man, Allah, Allah is that bar. Huh? So we have to humble ourselves. Right? Because Allah can give it, Allah can take it. Man, be arrogant with Allah subhanahu if you want to. Allah subhanahu said, and do you not see those who turn away from the dhikr Allah? They are arrogant towards Allah's commandments, Allah's warning. He said he will send a fitna on you. Yeah. If we're arrogant towards Allah's reminder, he said he will send a fitna. Fitna. Right? Fitna means trial or tribulation. Trial. Tribulation. Huh? I like to use the word, man, he'll tax you. You'll get taxed. You'll get taxed. Man, Allah will whoop you. If you turn away from the dhikr Allah, if you turn away from the reminder of Allah, man, Allah said he will hit you with a fitna. He'll hit you with some type of trial or tribulation. He'll, hit, he'll tax your butt. I'm going to do what I want to do. Right? Somebody tells you, well, girl, you know, Allah said, I don't care, I'm going to do what I want to do. Girl, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do. I don't feel that that's okay. I feel that there ain't nothing wrong with that. I, 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 I. Right? They use their own opinion. Right? Because what? The nafs is inclined to do evil. Your nafs wants to do what it wants to do. Well, I like listening to R. Kelly. I don't want to stop listening to R. Kelly. I don't feel that there's nothing wrong with it. I don't, I don't feel I'm going to do what I want to do. Huh? I'm going So this could be part of arrogance. You ain't being arrogant towards me. You ain't being arrogant towards nobody else but who? Allah. And this is kibber. And if you have any inclination of kibber, Allah, you won't enter into the paradise. You won't be able to smell paradise. This is scary. Even though we can't comprehend, like somebody tells us something, we can't comprehend it. Like, man, I don't understand that. Right? When I first became Muslim, and I loved marshmallows, I loved pork chops, I loved chitlins. I ain't even gonna lie. I eat the whole pot. My mom make I mean, I eat the whole pot with pepper and hot sauce. I'm just telling the truth. Right? But once I heard that pork was haram, I'm like, dang, what's, man, it tastes good, but. I have to submit. Now, I could be like some of these, man, I can't stop eating pork, man. I like pork skins, man. Pig feet. But there's some people out there that they say the only reason why they don't become Muslim is because they can't stop eating pork. You'll hear people, you'll hear them. Live long enough, you'll hear them. Right? But even though we don't understand or comprehend or why I can't eat marshmallows, because marshmallows got gelatin in it. Marshmallows got pork in it. Right? I can't eat jello no more. Why not? Yes, there is kosher gelatin, there is kosher marshmallows, right? There are, there is uh, kosher gelatin if it's used from the, uh, beef, 
But it has to specifically say that on the package. Yes, it will say beef. Or it'll have a U or a K. So you guys got to be very careful in the foods that you eat. Okay? But the emphasis is do not be arrogant in this deen. Right? So don't say, well, well, I, I, well that's what you said. I'm, you want me to follow what you want. No, man, that's not what I said. I don't want you to follow me because anything out of my mouth, it better be from the Quran and the Sunnah. So if I tell you anything, it ain't because Wali said, don't go back and say Wali said it. Wali didn't say nothing. Wali told you what Allah said. Wali said what the Prophet Muhammad said. Wali said what the Sahaba said. Wali said what he said in Ibn Kathir, Tafsir said. Now with Wali, I didn't come up with my own opinion. We don't use opinions in Islam. We don't use opinions in Islam. Allah says in chapter 4, verse 59, Obey Allah, obey the Prophet, obey your emirs, obey those in authority. And if you differ in any matter, refer it back to the Quran and the Sunnah. If you truly believe in Allah on the last day. So Allah tells us what to do when we have a dispute. Take it back to the Quran and the Sunnah. Okay? Now, that, just this real quick. Allah said say that he'll hit you with fitness and trials and tribulations. These fitness and trials and tribulations, they don't even have to be physical. Right? Some people are like, well, I'm healthy, man. I'm, I've got it going on. And, Man, ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm still getting blessed. But your, physical, your, your, your trial or tribulation does not have to be physical. It could be a spiritual fitna. Meaning that Allah makes you deaf, dumb, and blind where you can't even see nothing or understand nothing and can't, 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 can't comprehend nothing. That is your fitna. Where you keep driving or you keep doing that which is haram and don't think nothing is wrong with it so it leads you to the hell fire. That is the fitna. When Allah said that he'll turn his back on you, he'll turn his rahmah on you, right? Because guidance is from Allah. Allah said that he'll turn his back on you and you won't see nothing. You'll be deaf, dumb, and blind and you cannot return. Well, some might say, man, I got 20-20 vision, man. I ain't got glasses. I can see clearly. But he's talking about seeing the nur, the light of the guidance. Okay? Just because I got glasses don't mean I don't see that's not the sight that Allah was talking about. He said it's not their hearts, it's not their ears that are deaf, but it's their hearts that are deaf. This is the fitness that Allah can hit you with, man. Don't do what Allah will tell you to do. He's going to whoop you. He will tax you. He will hit you with trials and tribulations.